Good day, traders. Mindset reset, free cash Friday. Uh, I've got to try and address uh, a bunch of questions. And uh, we'll talk first of all, though, about the power of consolidated markets. So yesterday, I, I, I mentioned some things regarding templates and I breaking this down, um, reinforcing to traders that each day is a template in terms of a best trade setup. So not saying that every day on, on, on an instrument is a best trade setup. You're looking for the best template on the day on any instrument. So for example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three. Halfway, Wednesday is the halfway point in a week, in a timing cycle, Monday to Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is a three-day cycle heading into the close of the week, opening range, closing range. Now, within that, we can have failed breakouts that start a day count at the high or low of a week on a Thursday, on a Friday, and that can lead to a Friday, Monday, Tuesday trade. Tuesday, obviously, is a day two template, but understanding that a day two template on that particular instrument, there are two different, there are different types. So if you're looking at a high of week, low of week opportunity, then obviously now we're looking at potentially a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, first green day opportunity for low of the week, high of the week, parabolic trade, potentially maybe on day three, Wednesday. Those are the sort of things you need to be thinking of. So for example, if we looked at some of the currencies They've distended out. Now, I talk about the power of consolidated markets. Um, a rectangle is a very powerful structure for an explosive move after three sessions. And we had NASDAQ coiled for the entire day underneath the high of the day, three sessions, and went down in the gap, pulled back up and went sideways into the New York Open underneath the high of the day for an explosive range expansion of two times the range. Free cash, easy money on a Friday. Five-star scalable opportunity. Why is it scalable? Why is it a five-star? Because we have a day three parabolic that is coiled over three sessions and well over 12 to 16 hours now. That's a large explosive move coming out of that that was a textbook perfect setup at the open of the New York market. So, Coming back to understanding the power of parabolic opportunities. Par parabolic means explosive parabola, goes vertical. And that means that there's zero stress. There was no major red news till 10 a.m. So there's plenty of time to be in that market and be out taking profits. So that's the next thing to answer is that some traders, so for example, uh, I shorted pound yen in Asia. Again, day three parabolic. Peak formation low, London, peak formation high, uh, US session, over 100 pips of rise, consolidation, lower low, lower high for the vertical parabolic move. And, and I got messages from a ton of traders. What, what kind of setup is this? Remember, day three, parabolic moves in Asia, first green day. But what did they do first? They went down 75 pips before they began the move back up. So if you, Understand that on the back side of the move, they're still going to go down before they go up. On the back side of the move, they're still going to go up before they go down. That's that's the pump before they dump it. That's the dump before they pump it. But that was a 75 pip, three session parabolic setup on a day three. So here's where traders fail is that they sell that and they want to hold on to it to get as many pips as they can. Whereas I'm scaling in to load the boat on the parabolic move with preset profit targets to get out and, and lock in the money. Same thing on NASDAQ. I don't care if it's the high of the year. I don't care if it's the high of next year, whatever. I'm in the vertical move. I'm, I'm taking money out. It's scalable. We had a coil for 16 hours. Boom. Easy money. Oil. Failed breakout at yesterday's U.S. session reversal through the high of the day into the close of the day. They coiled sideways in Asia and broke down back inside of the breakout. We had a London coil into the U.S. session open, back into the traders who were long on the pump heading into the close of the, the afternoon session. I had that chart. There's a massive gap there. Vertical blow off for, I think, a dollar, 100 pips, straight down through the low. Beautiful trade. 
day three parabolics. So next, next point, I just want to reinforce Monday. Monday has templates and that depends on whether or not it triggers other time frame traders into the market. If it's an inside day, we have a narrow range day now. Day two, we might get a break in structure, a higher high, and then we can proceed to build a template over the course of the day. They might drop at three levels for a continuation trade on day two, a trend trade on day two, right? Buy low to continue long at the low of the day. Day two, do te day two templates, just like three levels of rise for the sell high setup on day two, back through the low of the day. Day three templates are where I'm looking for coiled markets for an explosive move. We can get failed breakouts that break structure and coil. We can get first red day opportunities. Uh, we can get first green day opportunities. We can get rectangles. Um, there's there's the ascending triangle in the Canadian dollar today. We will often see trapped volume sometimes on gold. So it breaks out and holds volume down for three sessions at the lower the high of the week. Day three breakouts, that sort of scenario. But when, when we get a coiled market, I'm searching for something that's coiled because it has the potential to explode, whether it's for a reversal or a trend trade. So remember this, each day has a template. So a couple of questions I want to address. Uh, a couple of traders having trouble executing in live time. Now remember, this is the most important thing. You have to understand the template that you're looking at. That you So in, if you're trying to figure out where to get into a market, that's not understanding the template that you're trying to trade. If I'm trading a pump and dump template, it's in the playbook. 30 to 45 minutes, putting in a high or a low. No major red news until 10 a.m. First hour puts in a high. They engulfed it. They went up three levels. 75 pips. Now, I want to talk about three levels for a second. Currency pairs may put in three levels over three days, 25, 25, and 25. Sometimes the more volatile pairs will go 50, 50, and 50. But if you have a currency pair that's below a quarter level, could be below 50, trades inside of 50 and 75, and goes above 75, I keep getting this question. That's not three levels. People are saying, how do you get three levels? Well, it's below 50 and above 75. That's three boxes three boxes of 25 because once they go vertical they're going to go all the way from the high to the low or from the low to the high that gives you 50 pips clear for parabolic move or more so you have to understand what that means now coming back to live time sitting back and watching and waiting they're pumping it up for 30 to 45 minutes they go right up into the high day on gold some traders are trying to get in. That's the problem. You're trying to get in instead of letting the market actually set up until you actually know that there's a setup. If they're going up for 30 to 45 minutes, or maybe even 50, 50 to five, 50 to 55 minutes, what would you be thinking? Maybe it's a pump and dump, right? Maybe it's going to be a third hour trade up high. Except that what happened, they broke down at double zeros and on the one minute chart, little micro head and shoulders pattern, the engulfment, another collapse at double zeros, another breakdown to 75 and another coil for 15 minutes sideways on top of 75 for a parabolic move to the low of the day. It's all timed. So if you're staring at these little bars, you will continue to struggle. You'll get in, you'll, you'll try to get in here and get in there and they'll go back and stop you out. Pay attention to the clock and the numbers, the high and the low of the day, and then the behavior of price. So typically, you know, I talk about looking at the hour rotation. So today, okay, I want to I want to address something else. Somebody messaged me and said, uh, "Why don't I uh, have full transparency? Uh, I'm really a news trader." Now, I think that's the most asinine thing I've ever heard anybody say. You're obviously uneducated. You're ill-informed. I am the, the last thing I am doing is trading the news. In fact, I don't trade until after the news. But today, the only purpose of that demonstrating that candle was, again, I, I said there are three types of candles. I never said there was a trade. Okay? I never said there was a trade. There's three types of candles on news release. Wicks. Okay? Typically going to be a break in structure. Second hour or a third hour trade, depending on other news. 
no wicks, high of day, low of day, trap volume, or low of day, high of day, trap volume, but it has to be part of a larger time frame setup if there's a trade. We're already down low. The, the larger rectangle was Thursday's high low. Thursday's high low. There was room 40, 30 to 40 pips down for an easy continuation trade. Doesn't, doesn't have to be sized into. Doesn't have to be traded. Nobody has to trade the news. Number one, nobody has to trade the news. Number two, nobody has to trade gold. Nobody has to trade gold. But I repeat this over and over again. If you can study gold and learn from gold and learn how to trade it, you can make a lot of money. And number three. Our first bounce is the first one, an explosive move outside of the range that will continue with the first bounce entry because it's a news momentum catalyst opportunity. Second one is trap volume, no wicks, not no wicks on either candle, first bounce or um, uh, first bar. So first bounce, occasionally you might get a wick, but it's an explosion outside of the range. So there's no, there's no problem with that. But the wicks on both sides for range... Uh, um, a break in structure typically will be a new hour trade from the high or the low of the day. So you don't have to trade news. Uh, I'm not a news trader, but what I am is savvy to what's happening when the news is released because I want to know if my larger setup is giving me an opportunity to get in, but I can't because of major red news. I'm going to get in as soon as I can after the news is released. And then if it confirms and it's going to be maybe a three hour move, yeah, I'm going to look where I can get in to add size or... Uh, if it's just a session trade, I'm just going to take the money and run, nail and bail. Or is this something where it's high of day, low of day, low of day, high of day, that sort of scenario. And it might be 50, 75, whatever, one hour trade and then new hour opens and auctions sideways. So consolidations though. So coming back to other time frame traders, once a market breaks out of the opening range, other all time frames are involved. Typically we're going to have, especially when weekly and daily levels are, are involved. And once they're in, okay, they're in. That's it. They could be driving a reversal move. They could be driving a, a trend trade move. They could be driving day three breakouts. So traders, listen. Day one, day two, day three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There are templates for those days. A day one template, a day two template, a day three template. Don't try to figure out how to trade an individual market every single day unless it has a template set up on it. That's why people will get chopped up. That's why you'll get chopped up. That's why you'll get stressed. Filter through and look for the easy trade. Like I said, yesterday's Japanese Yen, that's a, a fantastic day two template. You'll see day two templates like that flipped and mirror image that break out and do the same thing. Three pushes down for a reversal back to the low of the day. Same trade setup, but they mirror image it. And then day three blows off typically in the direction of the trend or the reversal that's happened on day two. Back to the higher low of that three-day template. But everything is a template. Three-day setups, nobody gets a free lunch. If you're trying to trade a distended market and there is no template, you're fighting the tape. So again, coming back to where can I put size on? Size is when you have a coil. Other time frame traders coiling with a template that gives me a textbook setup. I don't care about anything else. It's on day three. I'm looking for a parabolic template. And if I can't find something, the next thing I'm looking for is a daily template for a pump and dump or a dump and pump. That's that's it. That's it's that simple. So on day twos, I'm looking for day two opportunities for either parabolic reversals, parabolic trend trades. And it may just be a high of day, low of day session trade in that in that template itself but it could be 50 pips vertical no heat no stress in the trade done and dusted day three i'm looking for the larger three-day template for the explosive parabolic move these trades should move with zero stress very little heat against you and as paul tudor jones said confirming your entry pretty much right away so uh there's no stress with that but if there if you're trying to trade a market that you have an affinity to Rather than looking for the best template, you are going to have days where you're actually trading a market that may not even be set up for a best trade candidate or they're going to you know, be chopping and changing for three hours before they move it. And you could be trying to guess which way to go off the high or the low, that sort of scenario. Stick to the templates. 
stick to the templates. And it doesn't matter if, if there's five templates today that were perfect and you hit one, who cares? It's free cash. There's no, no one is better than the other. If they're all best trade setup templates, just execute the trade as flawlessly as possible. Make sure you get paid. Rinse it, rinse and repeat, scale it up in size. It's that simple. Day three templates, we're looking for parabolics. If I can find a consolidated market in any, on any day, sometimes I, you know, still go to gold. It's my go-to because I, you know, have an affinity to gold. But when you see a perfect rectangle, NASDAQ, that is a textbook perfect opportunity for a scalable trade setup when it confirms and there's no barrier in terms of major red news in that first couple of hours to stop me from taking that trade. So free cash Friday, step back. I'm going to repeat this. Understand on day one, day two, day three, I don't care if it's day three breakouts, you still need to have a template. If it's first red day, you still need to have a template. Okay. And if you find a template that's opposite to, to the template, maybe you're still trade. Maybe there, that's still a template for the opposite trade. There's templates all over the place. You just have to be able to interpret the information. Is it a dump, consolidation, and pump? Now, I'm going to just say this real quick in closing. Three levels of drop, any time frame, from the high of the previous day into the new day, into a consolidation, is three levels of drop, consolidation for a parabolic opportunity if it sets up. Dump, consolidation, pump. Pump, consolidation, dump. So when people say to me, what best trade setup is this? How do you spot that? Start doing your homework. Asian crosses, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Parabolic opportunities in Asia. I'm going to repeat this because I keep getting this. How did you see that? Follow your charts. Three levels of rise. Look for what's easy. Not something that goes up for three levels in a trend. Look for something that goes up parabolic and consolidates into the close of the day. And then breaks down and pulls back for a vertical move. Okay? Study these templates or you will be guessing for the rest of your trading career. They're templates. The best trade setups are all templates. Okay? There's free cash laying on the floor. I know a couple traders hurt themselves this morning picking it up. <laughs> so, templates, templates, templates. Three-day templates, daily templates. It's that simple. It really is that simple. So, if you're struggling, go back and look at this week and find pairs. Don't find in, find instruments. Find the, the, the sessions that gave template best trade setups. Because it doesn't matter. Well, like that Aussie or that Japanese yen trade yesterday shows up on gold every week, once a week, because it's a day two trade template. It shows up three levels of rise or three levels of drop for a parabolic move at the end of the day. Every week. It shows up on every currency pair, you know, at least once or twice a month, if not more. It's a day two template. Day three parabolic. It doesn't matter if that rectangle today on NASDAQ was NASDAQ today and oil yesterday. It broke out yesterday and went vertical at 9.30 New York Open, straight through measured move. Today, they went sideways, dropped it down in the gap inside of the, the uh, rectangle, coiled sideways, 9.30, boom, parabolic move. Geometrical structures, consolidated volume, coiled markets, explosive parabolic moves, easy, free cash. Free cash Friday. It's gonna, guess what's going to happen next Friday? Free cash Friday. Okay, traders, uh, sorry for the rant, but I just want to hammer home. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. The more you study the templates, not, not the movements, the templates, day one, day two, day three, Monday opening range, Tuesday initial balance, Wednesday parabolic opportunity. You might get a parabolic move on, on, a, on a market on a day two, okay? But, but there's going to be other types of day two templates that give you the parabolic move in the session that you're trading. Or a parabolic move on Wednesday. Sometimes we'll break a monthly or a weekly high low on a Monday. And we'll get a parabolic move in a session. So study the templates. Go back and study your Mondays. Understand when they break other time frame traders into the market. Go back and study your day twos. Okay. Day twos. Look at the templates. Look at Euro New Zealand this week. Day one, day two, day three. High the previous week. Week one in a new month. Vertical move. First red day. Vertical move on Thursday. Easy money. You only need to hit two or three of those a week. One or two. NASDAQ today. NASDAQ today. Two range expansions. Easy, free cash. Study consolidated markets. Study the templates. Rinse and repeat. Scale it up in size. Have a great day, traders. 1% better every single day. Boiling hot here in Canada. Just had an awesome run.
going to the lake, maybe uh, have a swim and so do some boating. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Next week is going to be your best week ever. Make it your best week ever. And may the markets go with you.